the beginning of the good news of Jesus Christ, the Son of God. As it is written in the prophet Isaiah, See, I am sending my messenger ahead of you, who will prepare my way, the voice of one crying out in the wilderness, Prepare the way of the Lord, make his paths straight. John the Baptist appeared in the wilderness proclaiming a baptism of repentance for the forgiveness of sins. And people from the whole Judean countryside and all the people of Jerusalem were going out to him and were baptized by him in the river Jordan, confessing their sins. Now John was clothed with camel's hair, with a leather belt around his waist, and he ate locusts and wild honey. He proclaimed, the one who is more powerful than I is coming after me. I am not worthy to stoop down and untie the thong of his sandals. I've baptized you with water, but he will baptize you with the Holy Spirit. In those days, Jesus came from Nazareth and was baptized by John in the Jordan. And just as he was coming up out of the water, he saw the heavens torn apart and the Spirit descending like a dove on him. And a voice came from heaven, You are my Son, my Beloved. With you I am well pleased. And the Spirit immediately drove him out into the wilderness. He was in the wilderness forty days, tempted by the devil. And he was with the wild beasts. And the angels waited on him. Now after John was arrested, Jesus came to Galilee, proclaiming the good news of God and saying, The time is fulfilled, and the kingdom of God has come near. Repent and believe in the good news. As he passed along the Sea of Galilee, he saw Simon and his brother Andrew casting a net into the sea, for they were fishermen. And he said to them, Follow me, and I will make you fish for people. And immediately they left their nets and followed him. And going a little farther, he saw James, the son of Zebedee, his brother John, who were in their boat, mending their nets. And immediately he called them. And they left their father Zebedee in the boat with the hired men, and they followed him. They went to Capernaum, and when the Sabbath day came, he entered the synagogue and taught. They were astounded at his teaching, for he taught them as one having authority, and not as their scribes. Just then there was in their synagogue a man with an unclean spirit, and he cried out, What have you to do with us, Jesus of Nazareth? Have you come to destroy us? I know who you are, the Holy One of God. But Jesus rebuked him and said, Be silent. And come out of him. And the unclean spirit, convulsing the man and crying out loudly, came out of him. And they were all amazed and said to one another, What is this? A new teaching with authority. He commands even unclean spirits and they obey him? And at once his fame began to spread throughout the surrounding region of Galilee. As soon as they left the synagogue, they went to the home of Simon and Andrew, along with James and John. Now Simon's mother-in-law was in bed with a fever, and they told Jesus about her at once. And he came and took her by the hand and lifted her up. And the fever left her, and she began to serve them. That evening at sundown, they brought to him all who were sick or possessed with demons. And the entire city was gathered around the door. And he cast out many demons, and he cured many who were sick, but he would not permit the demons to speak, because they knew who he was. In the morning, while it was still dark, he got up and went to a deserted place, and there he prayed. Simon and his companions hunted for him. When they found him, they said, everyone is searching for you. He replied, let us go on to the neighboring towns also so that I may pray, proclaim the good news there, for that is what I came to do. So Jesus, Jesus went throughout Galilee, proclaiming the message in their synagogues and casting out demons. Then a leper came, begging him, and kneeling before him said, If you choose, you can make me clean. Moved with pity, Jesus reached out his hand and touched the leper. He touched the leper, and said to him, I do choose, be made clean. And immediately the leprosy left him, and he was made clean. After sternly warning him, Jesus sent him away at once, saying, See that you say nothing to anyone, but go and show yourself to the priests, and offer for your cleansing what Moses commands as a testimony to them. But this man went out 
and began to proclaim it freely and to spread the words that Jesus could no longer go into the town, into the city openly, but he had to stay out in the country. And people came to him from every quarter. 